Oh man, this is one of my favorite shapes of all time. The Penrose Triangle. Some people call it the Impossible Triangle. And you can find many, many examples of this on the internet. And in this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to draw your own in Inkscape. Alright, so let's start a new file in Inkscape. And I'm going to set it up. Um, file document properties. Landscape. US letter. Inches. Make sure I'm in the view default. And zooming to fit. So to create the Penrose triangle like you see here. We first must make a triangle. And in order to do that we click on this uh, tool right here which is a shape creating tool and it might be defaulted to many um, points or corners like you see here All right so in order to make a triangle we need three corners and the spoke ratio should be 0.5 so right in here that should be 0.5 I'm going to move this um, in this direction so that the bottom is as flat as possible. And then I'm going to click on the selector right here. And just take a moment to look at it make sure it's all straight. And I'm going to then go to path, object to path. Uh, I'm going to make it a dark color clicking on the node editor because there's these three nodes here that I don't want. So I'm going to highlight those by clicking and dragging across and deleting those. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, well, I'm not going to delete, but I'm going to click and drag across to select the three corner nodes. And then I'm going to click on this button right here. It says, uh, if I have a it says make select node to corner. So I'm going to double click that and it straightens out my triangle lines. So I'm clicking on selector now. I'll make this triangle a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna duplicate it. I can right click duplicate or press control D. Drag that triangle down and change the color so I can see it. Alright so now we have two triangles which is what we need. And we need to set this up in a way uh, that things are symmetrical and proportioned. So click on this tool right here. This is called Align and Distribute. And a menu will pop up here. It'll say relative to page. And if it doesn't, make it say page. Click on your dark triangle or whichever triangle. And click on this one, it says center on a vertical axis. And then do the same with the one right in the center on a horizontal axis. Do that to both of these. Okay. And I'm gonna close these windows so we're not confused with anything. Um, the triangle, select the triangle that's on top. And using your arrow keys on your keyboard, uh, press the down arrow until you see the other triangle in the back. Uh oh, I moved it. I'm going to click on undo. Because uh, these points need to be lined up in order to make a perfect Penrose triangle. So you're going to have like a thick, it, it's going to look thick right here. What we're going to do is actually we're going to cut this piece out of here and then we're going to rotate in a certain fashion. All right. Um, we're going to select both of these triangles. You can do that by holding shift and selecting both or clicking and dragging across both. Then go to path and difference. And now we've cut that piece out. This is our building block for our Penrose triangle. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and put a gradient on this first before I do anything else um, because it's really going to make it pop, you'll see. So I'm going to click on the gradient tool. Um, if your screen is short, 
you won't see some of the end tools here on the left side there's gonna be a little like arrow so just click on the little arrow and you'll see gradient so I'm clicking on gradient I'm gonna click and drag across my shape and the last um, th this button right here I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna make it a color I'm gonna click on this other little guy and I'm gonna make that a different color um, let's see, I'm gonna stick with the greens I like the green okay I'm clicking on the select tool I'll right click duplicate now I have two of this shape on top of each other so I'm gonna select that one shape I'm gonna move it and then I'm gonna click on it one more time and you'll notice that these corners turn it into little curvy arrows I'm going to spin that around like so and I'm, I held control when I did that so when you hold control you get a lot of control you want this to be flat like that and then go ahead and move that right into that corner it should snap um, if it does not make sure that this is selected and then I'm gonna duplicate again move it click and rotate and snap that one into that corner now right now this looks like a really cool logo um, but we're making a pen rose so we have to adjust corners or some of these edges here so double click on this shape or click on the node editor here and you're gonna drag this node to snap to that corner and drag this up and line it up so it looks parallel to these lines and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one right here this area so actually what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna select like both nodes at the same time hold down control on the keyboard and I'm gonna click and drag this one to the left until it snaps and then right there and then I can just move this one I'll hold control and move that one like that until I have like almost a 45 degree angle here okay, I'm gonna do the same with this I'm gonna click on these guys select both and hold um, well I can't hold control because it's just gonna go straight down but I can snap it to here and then eyeball that up and then I click off of it I have a very beautifully done Penrose triangle I'm going to use the selector tool to select all three of these shapes and then I'm gonna right click and select group or I can press control G on the keyboard to group that and now I can you know resize it move it at will um, and oh man I just I just love this shape so much um, I want to see you create the same thing you can select uh, two different gradient colors this is a challenging graphic and um, just be cautious of where you're clicking remember you have an undo button right here you can press ctrl Z and um, looking forward to seeing your Penrose triangles <laughs>